Hi Jackie, um, this is Penny and I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how I would do a two layer stencil. So here's your uh, object that I've got uh, brought in. I just downloaded it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and obviously trace it. So we select the trace area and with the standards uh, that it's already have pre-selected in there you get a good outline of the blue. So I would just go ahead and trace that. And then we're left with the blue. Now at this point I don't really need um, your thing anymore so we're just going to move that off to the side. And what we need now is this. So the next thing you want to do for your yellow is your it's the outline on, on everything else. So instead of uh, tracing again, what we're going to do is we're going to offset. And again, what's interesting for this size is when I use the offset, that uh, 0.125 distance looked very pretty good. Um, you want to do corners uh, because your original one had sharp corners so select the corner thing here and it'll sharpen it a little bit uh, and you'll have to clean up if you notice here I'm just going to zoom in when we did the original trace it select had some little points here and so that's why you're getting the build out but clean up your um, first trace and then those will go away so oops wrong, wrong button okay so um, so this is what it looks like. So you've got your yellow outline and then you've got your blue. So before you do any other manipulating uh, and how to cut out two stencils, you need to make some registration marks. So typically what I do is I'll do like a rectangle here and maybe a rectangle here. Now you have registration marks that you're going to layer over one another when you lay down the stencils. All right. Next thing we're going to do is uh, just just so you can see that it's the right color uh, and how to separate them, you're going to make a copy of this and just uh, control and use your arrow button and it makes another copy. So we're going to move this over here. All right. So for this copy, we don't want. Let's take out the the uh, blue portion. So now there is your yellow layer and just simply group that together and just uh, just so we can see what it looks like at the end I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with a yellow okay we're going to move that off to the side now we're going to come back over here I don't know why things are popping up here and we're going to select this section bring it to center and we're going to remove the blue set or remove the yellow section. So that would be that. And now we're left with the blue. And we're going to select that all, group it so we don't lose those registration marks. So we're just going to fill that in with blue. Obviously, it's not the same blue. But as you see, when you line up these registration marks here and here which would be the same thing as you do on the board you now have a perfect line with this solution you're going to have to paint the yellow first so when you paint the yellow first my recommendation is when you lay down the blue layer your first coat of paint uh, and you need to make those very um, crisp lines you a lot of people will look, like do a yellow coat over it just to seal the edges so you don't have blue you could do yellow right around the edges then I would come back and paint this first layer of blue as black so that your blue pops otherwise you're going to get that yellow coming through it that's just a suggestion but that's how you would do it then obviously you have you would have to print both of these um, to do it, but you've got your registration marks. So I hope this helps.